I said to you, I cannot emphasise how scared you get. It is ridiculous. But like, it's actually I ridiculous. I thought something like that. Yeah, it, you okay? Aww, I feel sorry for you. I know, you okay? My mum got a bit upset when she saw it. I'm just first, like, like it, I, I'm just being careful because, like... That's, what, that's what, the only thing I was nervous about. Red. Yeah, that was all I was nervous about you coming. It's fine. Was it, but when they don't take him back, it's worse, obviously. The whole thing, the whole table is literally covered in fur. Satsuma. This is what the video is about today. We're going to talk about Satsuma because Satsuma is a registered emotional support animal. He is. And that's where Becca comes in. Let the games begin. Oh! What's in here? Oh. Oh. I'm going to go with this. I don't know, yeah. It's okay, Suma. We're your emotional support humans today. Shed. What are we doing today, Becca? We are taking Satsuma for his <laughs> MOT. <laughs> for you. I'm gonna have my crisps because I'm a bit hungry. You just don't get mine at the moment. We just came back to hers for her to get some more stuff. So I wanted to talk to you about emotional support animals. So can you tell I'm not a camera woman? I can deliver your baby. I can't film the video. There must be a better way to do this so I don't have to like hold the camera. I don't think there is, I think I'm gonna have to hold the camera. Yeah, so you would have seen from the earlier footage, um, we took my cat Satsuma to the vets this morning. Um, he's like perfectly fine, there's nothing actually like wrong with him. Um, it's just his like yearly, he just has to, yeah, we just take him every year like just so he can have his like booster vaccine and so they can like weigh him, just check him over and stuff like that, just make sure he's still like healthy and everything like that when he was so that's great but i wanted to talk to you guys about emotional support animals because satsuma is a registered emotional support animal so i have um bpd eupd whatever you prefer to say and depression anxiety and stuff so um i had satsuma from when he was a kitten so um he's five now i've had him since he was eight weeks old and i was diagnosed bpd 11 months ago so it'd be a year in like a year next month um i would have been a year diagnosed so phone notifications emotional support animals are um i don't think they're i don't think they're like legally recognized they're not sort of like service animals where obviously a service animal um like a guide dog or something like that um they have to allow you to take a guide dog anywhere basically because obviously like you need it to function like obviously like a blind person like if they had a guide dog they literally couldn't go around the shop if they didn't have the guide dog or whatever so they have to obviously allow you to bring the dog in whereas an emotional support animal they can refuse like businesses and companies and stuff can refuse them entry it's for things like say for example i was getting a like a flat and person say i was like renting and the landlord said like there's no pets allowed i could say like oh well i have a registered emotional support animal um and he has like there's like there's like paperwork and stuff to like i'm not just making it up um like he genuinely is registered emotional support animal and they have to kind of take that in con into consideration and be a bit more lenient so like if they're saying like there's no pets allowed and i say like well i have like this cat he's but he's like he's an emotional support animal um they have to be a bit kind of nicer to you so that's that and i don't know how long he's been registered now like six months maybe i didn't do it straight away when i got diagnosed i didn't actually know they existed emotional support animals my cousin just said to me, why don't you see if you can get him registered as one? And I was like, oh my God, and this like, world was opened up to me. I didn't know you could um, do that. But um, yeah, so I just don't know if anyone else out there that's like got pets, if you don't have pets, it's like difficult to explain how vital pets are to recovery and stability. My cat has like, I'm not joking, saved my life. I think for a lot of people i think i don't know like some people are okay but some people oh like it's just a cat some people give more status to dogs and they think oh, like a dog i can understand but a cat like it's just a cat it's not just a cat like he's not just a cat like he's my world and i love him to pieces and I, like i've had him since he was a baby he's like my little bean and um yeah and as i said he's like saved my life so he's really important to me and i remember once just to give an example so uh some of you well, if you follow me or if you like watched videos before. Oh yeah, that's it, an example. Yeah, so um, 
yeah, so that was what I was gonna say. So some of you may know, um, I am training to be a midwife. Um, I'm currently on a study break because my mental health got too severe to continue. So I'm currently on a study break. I'm going back in the summer um, to the hospital, like to sort of like get used to hospital again and then start probably back in the September um, to do my final year and then I will qualify. Um, and, but back in like April time, maybe last year, I had a mock exam at uni. It was like a practical. I failed the mock exam basically for for my emergencies module i was like not very prepared like when i went in i just wasn't in a great headspace to be honest with you at the time um i did pass the actual exam like when the, the actual exam was like three weeks later yeah like about three weeks later and i actually did really well with it um but yeah so i did the mock and failed it got home and just like felt dreadful and it kind of like built and built and built like the feeling and um i remember just like laying in bed and crying like the next morning after i'd failed it i was just like crying and and just felt worse and worse and worse um by the top by the next morning i was like crying like i was like oh my god like i might as well just quit my degree like i'm clearly not meant to be a midwife like i'm clearly gonna like end up killing someone blah 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 and i was just like crying and crying in bed like i don't want to talk to anyone um i was like this is just like so shit um um, and Satsuma jumped up on the bed and just like sat like you know the cats like loaf like he just like loafed next to me um and just like let me hold his paw and I'll just like cry my eyes out and like holding this cat's paw and um yeah and he just like let me hold his paw and he just like purred and purred and purred and purred like it was like he was saying like I love you mummy like that sounds so cringe probably to like <laughs> those of you that like don't have pets yeah it was like he was telling me that like it was gonna be okay and like he was there for me and stuff and he's just yeah i just love him to pieces and i mean particularly like even the morning that i had my crisis i had like a really like a really really bad crisis and i had to like read the crisis number and it was awful and like it was just the worst day of my life again like stayed with me like in bed while i was crying and just like stayed with me and like didn't leave me outside i feel like cats people always say that like particularly cats yeah people think cats are sort of like quite unfeeling they're quite um yeah like just aloof they're quite um like you know that they don't really care but actually cats are actually really emotional and like um i was reading something that said that um cats sleep by their owners at night time and satsuma does always sleep in my room with me um, he always sleeps like next to me like in his basket like obviously I'm in bed and, like he's in the basket next to me um, and people say that I read that, that cats sleep next to you because in the wild it's like dangerous it's like they're on guard so like they're like sleeping next to you to like make sure that you're protected so I thought it was so cute I just like wouldn't be like where I am now if it wasn't for Satsuma. My phone's like going off crazy. News like every 10 seconds about the blooming coronavirus. So I'll like show you some pictures of him. So this is him as a kitten. I don't know if you can like, how well you can see. Yeah, like he's always been like really cuddly, like. So to get them registered, I can't remember, I'll have a look now actually what it's called. I think it's ESA UK. So basically like, I will put, well, there'll be a link in the description. So it's just with this website here. So. Um, we'll put the link like in the description. So yeah, so I'll just read you like what it says on their website So an emotional support animal is a pet that is required for a person's ongoing mental health treatment by a licensed therapist Psychologist doctor or any licensed mental health professional as part of their ongoing treatment program That is designed to bring comfort and minimize the negative symptoms of the person's emotional of the person's emotional or psychological disability So basically Satsuma is like um, to get him registered as an emotional support animal um, so basically Satsuma is like, um, it's like he's my prescription, if that makes sense. So like he's, he's my prescribed medicine. So hold on a minute, Lydia's calling me. You can pull the car out now. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so, um, yeah, so basically Satsuma's like licensed as my treatment. So um, he has a certificate and he has like a little ID card. It's like so cute um, that I will show you. Oh my God, those leggings are so funky. Um, <laughs> 
Um, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't know what else like to say. Um, if you have any questions, then like you can ask. Oh, so they can be any age. So I think I said earlier, didn't I? Satsuma was five. So um, he was five in December. His birthday is two days before Christmas. So um, he was five in December. So if you have any questions, I don't know if this has been like very informative. Sorry, the camera was like moving around a lot. Um, I might record this again at some stage. Lydia thinks it looks messy, but she's the better judge of that. I will leave you guys there. Um, if you have any questions about Satsuma, but I have obviously like my social media anyway, like I've got Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, so you can ask me questions. Um, if you have anything you want to know. Um, and we'll put the I'll put the link to the um to the website where you can get your pet registered um as an emotional support animal. Um oh, so yeah, the only thing sorry, important thing I have to say, um you do have to pay to have them registered as an emotional support animal. So I have to pay fifty pounds a year for Satsuma to be an emotional support animal. And it's fifty pounds like per I think it was per animal. So say you had like more than one, obviously, I think you have to pay like 50 pounds for each of them to be registered, I believe. I'm not sure of that though, because obviously I only have one pet. So obviously like I didn't really look into like multiple pets, but I think you have to pay like 50 pounds per one. You need like medical evidence, obviously, to say that you are diagnosed with the condition that you're saying that you're diagnosed with and that the animal provides benefit or that the, the, the just the presence of the animal helps alleviate your symptoms. But with Satsuma, they never actually asked me. But like, I have got it written like, in a letter. Like, I did get my psychiatrist to write it in one of the letters that he sent to my house. That, um, like, to actually specify that Satsuma, that the that Satsuma being there really, really helps my symptoms. Yeah. So sorry if I've like rambled, or if I've like talked about stuff that's not not relevant. Um. Yeah. Okay.